Panorama TV presents How They Do That, where we explore the world of professional photographers and share their techniques with you. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Wallace. Welcome to another episode of How'd They Do That. Well, today on the show we have Planet Mitch, and Planet Mitch is the guy who started Planet5D.com. So welcome to the show, Mitch. Thank you very much, Mark. It's a pleasure to be on Adorama TV. Well, we love having you here. Well, uh, tell us first of all, Planet 5D is this great site for uh, people that are interested in shooting video on a DSLR, but why did you create Planet 5D in the first place? Well, it's, it's, it all started back in early 2008, actually, before Canon ever announced the 5D Mark II, which sort of sparked the revolution. Um, I, I was working a day job, and I read an article by uh, Arnold Kim, who runs MacRumors.com, who said he had quit his day job to run Planet, uh, Planet 5D, to run um, MacRumors, and he, at the end of the article, he said, well, I quit my day job, but I, w I was a practicing physician with my own practice earning more than six figures a year. And I said to myself, if I ever wanted to do something, uh, running a blog and quitting my day job and working in front of the computer all day would be great. And so when the 5D Mark II was announced, um, the idea came into my head that, you know, if ever I was going to find something that I really enjoyed, that I had a passion about, which is photography, because I was doing photography since I was in high school, um, I thought this would be it. So the 5D Mark II was, was phenomenally successful, and so I started Planet 5D about a month after the, the 5D Mark II was announced, and it's just grown like wildfire ever since. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more about Planet 5D, some of the different things it has. I know it has a blog, it's got some forums, and it has a wiki. Uh, what, what's going on in those areas on the, on the blog and on the, uh, on the site? Well, it started out purely um, as a wiki, and I started it as a wiki because I thought, you know, it, there were going to be people who were going to ask the same question over and over and over. Um, and so I thought, people would love to have a wiki with all of the answers in one spot. And as news was rolling out about the 5D, um, I started adding uh, a news section. And, and eventually what sort of happened is, is things rotated in that uh, the blog has become the normal piece of, of information where we post news about new products, um, other things that people are doing with the cameras, you know, the TV shows, working with it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the the main thing that we're trying to do with Planet 5D at this point is to make it a community where people who are learning about DSLRs, um, people who want to meet other people, everybody can come to this one community and find everything they need to know. Well, it seems like you've done a really good job with building community on the site. I was poking around on the site over the past week or so, and I see that there's just a lot of participation, and so I really commend you for that. Well, let's talk about some of the things that people are trying to deal with when they first start shooting video with a DSLR. We're talking about things like lighting and audio and image stabilization, things like that. Let's start with audio. A lot of people have a difficult time getting just clean audio on their camera. So can you talk to us a little bit about some of the principles or strategies that people can use to get great audio? Audio, as most people know, is about 50 to 75% of the end result of the movie. If you've got bad audio, people aren't going to watch your movie. So you've got to focus in on the audio. And there are several different options that are available to do external recording. Um, right now, I happen to be using uh, an external microphone that is actually plugged into the 5D Mark II, um, which gives very good audio recording, especially for situations like a live interview. Uh, but if you're going to do uh, a full-length movie or a short, then you'll want to get um, something like a Zoom or an external microphone where you can uh, record the audio you want to re use the internal mic on the camera as well so that you can then sync the sound together in post-production. But you really need to focus in on the audio because it's very important for your ending results. Well, speaking of focusing in on audio, let's talk about focus. Uh, a lot of people are having issues actually physically focusing their camera when they're shooting video as well. So can you talk to us about some of the strategies that you would use to get critical focus and make sure it's perfect? 
Uh, yes, Mark, focus, of course, is very important, especially with the shallow depth of field that these cameras provide, which is one of the reasons why people really like them, because it gives you a cinematic feel. Um, but you have to be very careful about your focus. There are plenty of devices that are called follow focus units, if you're familiar with the cinema terms. Um, follow focus units attach to the lens to help you adjust the focus as opposed to trying to do it with your hand. You can use a, a spin dial and you can even preset certain uh, focus stops and then use your markers to go to those. So focus is very important. Um, you don't necessarily have to when you're first starting out buy a follow focus unit. Um, but last night I was talking to Shane Hurlbut who's a director of photography and he's he's very adamant that the most important person on his team is the follow focus um, the focus puller and so make sure you've got critical focus when you're using these HDLSRs. Well let's talk about some of the things that uh, are coming up in the future you're in this position where you're seeing all types of videos you see all kinds of cameras on your website um, what are some of the things that you're seeing in the future that make you a little bit excited to be involved in a uh, HDSLR community. It's very interesting because the whole thing is evolving. Um, as you probably are aware, the, when they added video to the DSLRs like the 5D Mark II, it was primarily aimed at being able to use the camera as a stills camera and as a video camera out in the field for news reporters so that they would be able to not have two people go out in the field they could just use one person and do both functions um, and and most of the manufacturers have just been really surprised by the reaction of people taking these cameras into making real movies with them and so we're we're in a point of evolution from the revolution of these HDLSRs in that we're now going into Custom, uh, not custom, as I, um, uh, improving the cameras for actually doing video. And we also are moving into different kinds of sensors. Uh, the, the manufacturers are, are bringing in new sensors. The video sensors are getting bigger because they realize, um, you know, the, the video cameras that we've seen up to now are, are one thirds size sensor or two thirds, and now they're going up to the four thirds. And, and getting almost to the size of the the full frame sensor in the 5D Mark II because the manufacturers have seen that this is uh, very important in the long run. And then you've got the whole world of accessories. We've got monitors coming along. We've got new follow focus units. Um, we've got new steady cam units that are coming out. And so there's a whole arena evolving around these cameras that's that's just going to go through the roof in the next couple of years. Well, that's a lot of interesting stuff. And I need to point out that on Planet 5D that there are a lot of cameras that are represented there, not just the Canon 5D. There's all different brands and types. So that's pretty exciting. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time, Mitch, but thank you very much for joining us on the show today. Hey, Mark, it's been my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And if you'd like to see more of Mitch's work, you can always go to planet5d.com or just visit the Adorama Learning Center because we've posted some of the links to the information we've been talking about on today's show. Well, thanks for joining me. Remember, if you'd uh, like to see somebody on how they do that, you can send their suggestions to askmark at adorama.com. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.